All right. We should be live here in a minute. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Hello, everyone. Marianne's away. We've taken over. <laughs> <laughs> So our second in command, fearless leader, is in charge. <laughs> uh oh, we are we are definitely in trouble. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so you guys ready? Do you think, do you think she's going to keep Candy and me in line? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> uh, Whoops! Sorry, just a second. Let me turn that down. Okay. Laura says, "Let the good times roll." <laughs> uh, see what it, there's 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 a French what is it Le Le Bon Ton Roule or something like that. I don't remember. <laughs> Down here. <laughs> oh, the one from New Orleans. Girl. Yeah, oh, Le, Le Bon. Yeah, something I don't know. <laughs> I know it when I hear it, but yeah, I know it when I hear it. Yeah, or when I see it. So you know they they have a lot of signs down here with that stuff on it. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, I've been to New Orleans quite a few times, but never during Mardi Gras. Oh, no, it's crazy. I went over Memorial Day weekend before. Yeah, Christmas. it was like Mardi Gras. It was yes and no. Yes and no. It is. It is party. But it, Mardi Gras is like outrageous, outrageous. Like you would not believe. <laughs> I want to see the parades. The parades sound so cool. Uh, it's the stuff that goes on. Uh, it's, it's like x-rated yeah. man well yeah yeah that's yeah. Why I understand. yeah it's adults only <laughs> yeah you turn around you're like, oh no i don't want to see that <laughs> yeah too much of that <laughs> yeah no oh no <laughs> so, uh but it's crazy oh, all margie time. says boobies everywhere and it's not yeah. just boobies <laughs> oh no <laughs> on margie Gras, it's not just boobies. oh okay um is it laissez uh, les bon yeah, yeah. They say les bon tum roule. They don't, they don't say it like that. Le, oh Let's yeah, say. They, they don't, say. They don't put les say. Let's we'll say. Love. Yeah, whatever. Les bon tum roule. Yeah. Yeah, because good time is bon tom. I can't yeah, do French. Le bon and roule would be roll. Les bon tom roule or something. Yeah, it's just. Yeah. You have to have one of them say it because they get the accent going. It's really pretty. Yeah, you need the the yeah, uh, and I just, and I just the Acadian it. accent. Yeah, <laughs> let, let alone anything else. I'm not. Yeah, I know. <laughs> fry. I would butcher, butcher everything else. Well, happy Saturday, everybody. Yeah, nobody wants to be with us, though. <laughs> What's the deal? Like, where is everybody? Are they gone? Are they? Margie out? and Laura. Oh, Marjorie. No extra crafts today. <laughs> yeah. Laura, the, the fluffy butt wouldn't even know what's happening. <laughs> he is beautiful and sweet and kind of clueless. <laughs> beautiful and sweet. Sandra Lou, hello, hello. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what? Oh, my neighbor's moan again. What's that? Twice in a month? Oh my God! The sky's <laughs> gonna fall. <laughs> oh my word! Plays a bon town role. Yeah, Marianne put, put in there. She said, "Family show, family show." Yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever. We're gonna block her. Put her in timeout. We put her in timeout, man. So she can't yeah. comment. <laughs> Did you block her? Whoop, whoop. No, I can't because she's. Oh. Then... <laughs> oh wait, maybe I can. Hold on. Oh wait. <laughs> 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 I'm afraid I wouldn't be able to unblock her though. Once I blocked her, <laughs> <laughs> then we'd really be in deep. deep <laughs> but there's nothing she can do about it right now. Deep <laughs> 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 Uh, Marianne, just enjoy your car ride. Just neener, neener. neener. No, it's giving me the block option this time. 
let where we tried when we tried it the other day it didn't get the block option was grayed out now it's there <laughs> but we need her there's only we don't have enough people we need her <laughs> so uh no yeah, snaps so marianne I can't even see oh there it is yeah it's a holiday weekend everybody's traveling so I was worried about going out this morning. They called for my prescription yesterday and I wouldn't go because it was three o'clock on a Friday afternoon on a holiday weekend. And I thought, okay, I'm not going anywhere. So I went this morning. I thought, oh, there's going to be so much traffic and it really wasn't bad. And I went at nine. So yeah. I got there right after the pharmacy opened and it wasn't too bad. Um, uh, yeah, it wasn't too bad in the grocery store, which then caused me to spend more money than I normally would. I thought, oh, look at this cheese. Oh, look at this cheese. <laughs> uh, oh, that looks good. Oh, that was. Yeah, I can't go when I'm hungry. Yeah, I shouldn't have gone when I was hungry. So $80 later. <laughs> <laughs> wow, just $80? <laughs> no. Well, that's a lot for me. Yeah. <laughs> And I just went to Costco this last week and, you know, uh, yeah, yeah. I probably spent $25, $30 on three pieces of cheese and three little pieces of cheese. But that's my, that's my little guilty pleasure food wise is nice cheeses. Oh yeah. So um, I like the mild ones like Havarti and Monterey Jack. Love those. I yeah. had I had a honey Gouda the other oh. day. Oh, and let me tell you, it was so smooth. And so, never heard of that. Uh, well, I hadn't either. Um, and so, so what I'm doing is I'm trying. They put these on sale. They're like twenty percent off. So I'm I'm trying some because they're most of theirs are like I don't know about twenty bucks a pound. And so I just buy a little piece of it. Um, and it was just this smooth so now i'm just kind of shaving little pieces off of it and savoring it instead of like oh take a hunk off and um <laughs> one of the, i know savoring cheese huh um oh no cheese is wonderful yeah um, it is fromage isn't a fromage in that um four kinds of milk in it is fromage like in, it's like um, like a goat cheese, right? It has know. four. It has four different milks, so it's probably cow and goat and something goat else, and sheep. Yeah, and something else. Hmm. I just um a few weeks ago, y'all know I used to live in Seattle, and now I don't. Mm -hmm. I'm upset on that. And um, <laughs> so a friend and I went to um. Um, met market in Tacoma and I felt like a little country hick had gone to the big city because they had the most amazing cheeses there. Oh, and, um, I bought one that was from Salt Spring Island, which is up there by Laura. Well, across that, across the water. <laughs> okay. The messy palette came in. I can't remember. Uh, is that Trudy? No, I don't think it's Trudy. Oh. Wendy? Wendy, I think. Wendy. I think it's Wendy. I think. Hey, KK. KK. I'm, I'm bad at, at, at some of the screen names. <laughs> I, I, am get them, I get them mixed up. <laughs> I try to write them down sometimes, but then, you know, then I lose my note. <laughs> oh, Marianne said it's Diana. Diana. Okay. We were all wrong. Hi, Diana. <laughs> Sorry. Diane. She said Thank Diane. You. We're Diane. Hi, Diane. Yeah. yeah. Well, at least we have people now. Yay. Yay. Okay, I don't know this one. Jess, G.S. Pelfrey? That's, um, oh, geez. I know this. Hang know on, this. Marianne will text us in a second. Yeah, I know this. <laughs> <laughs> I had, she was, in the, she was one of the sales. I had to, uh. Ginger, she said. Ginger, yeah, okay. Yeah, that one I don't have ginger. down. I was like, Ginger, Georgina, <laughs> Georgia. <laughs> Glad you're here, Ginger. Be easy on yeah. us. Yeah. 
Yeah. We're not as good with the names as Marianne. And so my memory is kind of limited. <laughs> my memory is always limited. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wanted to blame it on something. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. worse now, but it was it's always been limited. <sighs> yeah, Margie, I've made cheat sheets and then I lose them. So like <laughs> Well, those two I don't have on my cheat sheets, which I, of course, I, I don't know where it is. But I just put it on a little piece of paper, and now you know I'm going to be scrambling to look for that piece of paper yep. when I get one. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I had a little notebook I had everybody in, and yeah, it's gone. I don't know where it's at. So, are we ready to get started? You ready to tell us what the three ladies? Oh, wait, go ahead and tell them about the, uh, remind them about the, um, your challenge, Debbie. Oh, okay. Put it on you. Do, you. do you got it where you can show it to them? Or? Um, yeah, give me a second. Let me go around to the other side okay. and get right. it. Yeah, so she, you can see the, the the folio that she made. It's gorgeous. Anything wow. to put off letting you tell us what to do. I mean, yeah. Yeah, it looks like the first person in was Margie anyways. <laughs> and she's never nice. Yeah, never. <laughs> Mommy Margie, don't speak ill of my Margie. No, Marianne is traveling, KK, so she's on chat. Um, so she's on her phone, but we've taken over tonight, the three of us. We're trying to kick Marianne out, but we're we're not quite brave <laughs> with the blocker. <laughs> if we could put her in timeout, though, that'd be awesome. But it doesn't give me she that all the caps away. Here we go. Okay, so well, it must have worked because she said that's the longest timeout ever. <laughs> And I didn't even do it, so <laughs> I didn't do it, Marianne. I didn't even do it because I was afraid to do it because it, it didn't give me timeout options. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> so. Way Margie, did it. Margie did it. <laughs> Margie did it. Margie's fault. But she's a cat, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the cat's walking, watching us. Uh, okay, so um, okay. let me let me, let, 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 wait, wait, let me put you on. Yeah, put it on, Debbie. I can't um, I can't open it from where I am very well, but um, as you can see, I have some stuff here, and I have some stuff here, and um, so, but I can kind of show you that I made this folio, and the difference between a folio and an album is. Um, a folio folds over on itself and an album opens like a book. So I used Stamperia Passion and made this little folio and I didn't decorate it a lot. I decorated a little bit. Here's some lace and here's some lace and I did a few cutouts on it and I don't know if I can open it a little bit here, but it opens and it opens and it opens one more there. And um, so anyway, I made this so that uh, we could do a, a challenge. And for everybody that invites 12 people, and if they join Happy Paper People and join um, Facebook, YouTube. YouTube, thank you. I was going to say Facebook. Yeah. Um, your name goes in for a drawing and when we do our last our um our play day the last of june we will draw a name for somebody to win this so um it's it's a giveaway oh and then there's a package of here's a whole bunch of um ephemera, extra ephemera cut ups to go with it so whoever want whoever wins it can um can decorate it extra because I don't know if they want to do pictures in this or whatever yeah. they want to do. So it's so beautiful no matter what they want to do. Okay. Um, and, and we've gotten a lot of new members in the Facebook group, but some of them have not come over and joined YouTube mm -hmm. yet. So you got to remember to get them to come over to YouTube, ladies, the, the people that you invited. And you've invited a lot. Yeah, there's been a we've had a bunch come in. So we're awesome awesome yes. welcome everybody yes this is a great group okay ready i'm not ready okay. so we're gonna do a tell us what to do and candy did a download for tonight of everything to pick from so here's the list it's on the facebook group and it's up in the featured pin it should be the first one up there
Diane said, Diane said, don't drive in YouTube unless you're videoing cool stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. So I'm going to kind of watch what's going on. And Miss Candy and Miss Glennis are going to do the, um, do the, <laughs> you're going to do the, the artistic <laughs> adventures tonight. So uh, I don't Rose, know how artistic they're going to be, but we're going <laughs> to we'll slap something together. Yeah, we'll slap something together. <laughs> so Marianne said, I'm so excited to meet all the friend um all the friends you've invited. Please tell them we'd love them to subscribe here so they don't miss out on all the stuff we do here. Uh oh, Marianne said make her proud. No, she oh no. Jinxed us. Come on, Marianne. <laughs> Told you she was a cockeyed optimist. <laughs> Okay, so uh, we have an elements, a list of elements, and here's all the goodies. So do we want three or four items? Oh, no, only start with three, not four. Three, okay. <laughs> do you want to time it or not? Or I can. Oh, Kim's, I haven't seen Kim here. Welcome, Kim. Hi, Kim. Yeah, welcome, I, welcome. I just invited her this week. <clears throat> oh, welcome. Hi, welcome. welcome. Welcome, Kim. <laughs> Margie. I can't believe you're calling us clowns. Man, you hurt my feelings. Yeah, what the heck? <laughs> and she put it in all caps. <laughs> so, um, ladies, if you have a question, put um, a couple of question marks and then write in caps so I see it a little bit better because we get chatting and goofing and laughing here. And then... Um, we miss it. <laughs> I'm going to read... Um, Okay, and so I'm what, sure. what, what right. are we to make, ladies? Okay, yeah, tell us what to make. Somebody throw something out there. Sandra Lou, you're here. Did you see the list? <laughs> Kim, Marge. please know they aren't always in charge. <laughs> wow. This is a coup. Yes, we are. We're, we're always we're in charge. Just let Miriam believe she's in charge. <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> She's dying because she, uh, Margie she's has a three-room cabin. I don't think we'll have time for that. Make a three-room oh, cabin. Oh, three-room cabin here. Wait, wait. <laughs> there she goes. There she goes. Oh, I got to take out the door there. The door here. <laughs> window here. Window here. Okay. She says tuck spot. <laughs> tuck spot is easy. Okay. Um, okay. So we're going to start. Pocket. A, a tuck spot um, or a pocket. Well, Margie was first with tuck spots. So let's go with that one. Yeah. Now we need three items off the list, ladies. Just three. Just three. Yeah, it's a good start. Don't make them too hard. It's new. Oh, Jesus. Victorian, Victorian shoe or boat. Oh, thanks for the answer. Boot. Is that on here? Oh, it is. <laughs> I thought Marianne was making it up. <laughs> Something bird related. Yep. And a bird related. Okay, wait. Where's my um where's my little pen here? Oh, of course not. I'm downstairs. Okay, bird related. I'm gonna put that. And what's the third one? We need one more, ladies. Bird related. <laughs> Laura said, you know what they say, a bird in the hand is worth two in the boot. <laughs> this is so okay, funny. Kim says a green triangle. A green triangle. Okay. Are we going to let him? <laughs> you got that, Glennis? Yep. I know that was not. Okay. Victoria shoe or boot, or boot a bird related and a green triangle. Okay. I saw bird related on here earlier. Now I can't find it. I think it's, what's it say? It says, uh -oh, let's see, this new set of work. I see. It has something related, bird related. It's got the word something. Oh, something in bird okay. Yeah. I, I really was reading alphabetically. So yeah. You. Okay. And then try it. Is there a triangle on here? Or There's you not, but it's a shape. So we can, we can do okay. that. It's fine. Okay. 
Okay, here you go, ladies. Mom has a lot of bird folders, which she will pick. Which one will she pick? Um, Marianne said, quit stalling. <laughs> now, this wouldn't be a tell us what to do unless we could stall. Come on. Right. I don't have a green triangle. <laughs> <laughs> Laura said, so you could do a nest or eggs or a cuckoo clock for bird related. There you go. I will award um, bonus points to anyone who can actually pull out a cuckoo clock. <laughs> mm, I don't have a cuckoo clock. <laughs> Is that pronounced a boo? <laughs> if you're Canadian? No. <laughs> Only if you're French Canadian. <laughs> Marianne says she has a wheel of brie in front of her. Yum. Brie? <laughs> yeah, brie. Brie mm. is best when it's... um hot and melt it. Right? With fig jam on top? Oh, that sounds great. Put the heater on and put it on the, on the yeah. dash. <laughs> That'll work. We um a restaurant last week that is um Marianne said the sun off the window is hot enough. It's raining here. <laughs> Laura says it's time for a fruit and cheese and cracker cluster. Um so out where I live now, um, it's mostly chain restaurants. We don't have a whole lot of um, owner-based restaurants. And so about a half an hour south of here, which is really odd, it's right up under the mountain, um, they put this new cider house in. And um, here is the little cheese appetizer, whoops, there we go. The cheese appetizer plate that they had and that cheese is made out in Eatonville. So now I'm gonna go find, um, I'm gonna go to the farm and I think in the fall, they're gonna have a cheese making class. So- Oh, cool. Yeah, so it was cheese and fruit and microgreens and it was an amazing cheese. Okay, what did Diane say? The sun out the window. Mary Ann's having her own little conversation here. Um, crumbled and deep fried with chili mango chutney. Crumbled. What's cr oh the the brie? Yum. Yeah, Mary Ann, it was good. It was just this little dense cheese, and it was amazing. 
How we doing, ladies? We're doing. Mother chapters. <laughs> Won't be finished for a while. Now, if I could find a Victorian boot with a bird design on it. Here's the cheese I bought that was from Salt Spring Island. Isn't that pretty? Oh, yeah. I went to their, um, I went to an, uh, a farm dinner there. And uh, I don't know how many years ago it was. And we went to the goat farm and watched him make the cheese. And That's home. some of the best cheese ever, the goat spring. Salt Spring Island cheese. Oh, man. It's Did you amazing. see that picture of that, Glennis? Pardon? Did you see that picture of that cheese? Look at that. Well, that looks wonderful. You made me hungry. I had asked to have supper delivered before six, but it hasn't arrived, so I guess I'm going to have it after we're done. There's a lady I follow. Um, she's in Olympia, which is I don't know, 40 minutes south of me. And it's called Lost Peacock Creamery. And um, right, Margie, craft and food. You know, I always talk about food. So um, um, Margie said this needs to be renamed to Laugh Craft and Food. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's always food. Yeah, this gal's pretty amazing. She and her little family started this creamery and they have CSA boxes for cheese now. And do you have cheesecake, Margie? Oh. <laughs> oh, she has to have cheesecake. No, I want to know what flavor. I know. I tried to eat a little healthier today. I gotta get back on the back on the plan. Hi, Toby. Oh, she doesn't have cheesecake. What do you have for dessert, Margie? Oh, I got a bird clock. <laughs> hmm. That's pretty paper, Glennis. Thank you. The stars. Ooh. Laura has lava cake in the freezer. With a little raspberry jam. There's a... Um, the little farm that I go to, it's about, I don't know, five or six miles from me. It's called Country Girls. I think Country Girls. It's mom and daughter. And mom makes jam of all sorts, shapes, sizes, and flavors. And she makes pickles and pickled beets. And so I was down there a week or so ago to buy more jams. Put them on cheese. Put them on brie. I'm a jelly person more than a jam. I don't like all the chunks that you get in jam. The seeds, right. So if she makes jelly, that would be fabulous. You know what? I'll ask her if she makes any jelly. She made a strawberry rhubarb jam. So, of course, I bought that for Daddy because my last strawberry rhubarb ordeal was another epic fail. But he makes <laughs> me feel good. He eats it anyway. So um, the brownies turned out okay. There was my little baking thing. Um I came home one day and there was a hole in my siding about the size of a, um, maybe a little bit smaller than a baseball, around the size of a baseball. And I thought, oh my God, it's a bullet hole. Oh so, no. Um, it was not. So Bonnie's child came up, her youngest came up and he went up on the ladder. And until I can find somebody to do siding, he um, put a piece of tape over it with a woodpecker. A woodpecker poked a hole in my siding. What the heck? 
Hey, my kids put a hole in my closet doors with a BB gun. Inside. Oh, oh inside. Yeah, yeah inside. Hard. Came home from work and there's the while well, they put it in. Well, actually, it was in two doors. It was in the bedroom door and a closet door. And we were like, "What the? <laughs> what the what?" So, <laughs> and they were like, "We didn't do it." Well, yeah, it just yeah, the the bunny rabbit did it, right? <laughs> Right. Um, okay, so Margie likes jam better than jelly, and then she says preserves are even better. And aren't preserves like with whole pieces of fruit in them? Isn't that what preserves are? But I you thought know? that's what jam was. Well, jam is, I think jam is where you it cook everything pieces. down and it leaves the seeds in it. You cook it down to nothing and the seeds are in it. Um, oh, okay. okay. I think well, some jam has pieces in it. They yeah. don't have whole pieces, but they have pieces in them. Because that's why I don't do jam. Yeah, that's why I like jelly. It's just, just yeah, what you see is what smooth. you get. You can get seeds, but it's smooth. <clears throat> Laura, so now she wants to go to the grocery store and look for all the goodies. Lemon curd or apple butter. Oh, I love lemon curd. Do you have Trader oh, oh. Joe's in Canada? All right, I'm done with that one. I'm oh, not, pretty. I find a silly shoe. Oh. Pretty, pretty. Um... The Jam triangle is, is, the, is the tuck spot. Sandy says, um, no Trader Joe's because oh, they have really good lemon curd. Um, Sandra Lou said that jam is crushed fruit. Okay, Sandra Lou, then what's preserves? It's like whole. It's like big chunks, isn't it? That's what I, I do. I don't do preserves, so. Because I usually Sandy buy the I mean, so I don't need big well, chunks. Um, <laughs> Sandy makes the best plum jam. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, I love plum. And you can't get, I used to we used to get apple plum. I loved it when it was mixed. Apples and plums mixed. I think we put some and a little bit of lemon. I don't remember what else. Um just draw a shoe. No, I just found one. Oh, you found one? Okay. Let's say you can draw one. Sandra Lou said um preserves are big chunks of fruit. So yeah. then what Chutney. Oof. Oh, chutney is more um it's 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 not necessarily sweet, it's sweet, but it's more like a relish. So chutney so, is served with um, other food. And not as macerated, maybe. Well you serve you serve chutney usually with meats and stuff. Uh-huh. So it's not Laura said, Mom, you can doodle a boot and hide it behind the bird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll stick just stick a, a little toe out. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Well, this is what I've got. Let's see. Laura, that's what I think of chutney as something that's spiced. And and um like your mom said, it's not always all sweet. It Let's has see a if I can get this in. Oh, come on. Where there's my... oops. There's no way I can get this. Okay. I wish there was an easier way to see where the heck your camera was. This is not decorated. It needs some lace then, or it needs some drops. It needs all sorts of stuff. I'll put it back down there. Very I got, cute. I got two side tucks. One which doesn't have a shoe on it yet. And my triangle corner tuck. Awesome. Okay. Are we ready to move on? Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> So we need an element. <laughs> what did what did I didn't see what Candy did? Oh, it's right here. See it? Oh yeah. Okay. Yep. Oh, that looks cool. But these just these have to be distressed now, and then I think lace and drops, but that can go later. Yeah, it needs a little bit of lace on there, but I'll do that when I put it in the book. Yeah. Now we have to level up, Laura said. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we need an element, somebody. Not something too hard, ladies, please. <laughs> give, us, give us a break. Oh, the envelope. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> 
I hate doing those string things. <laughs> well, you could do one without the string. Just put this, the holes on it. Okay. Those things on it. Policy yeah. envelope. Okay. Marianne said a flip out. Flip out. Well, we got, that's. But that's we, the same as a policy. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 Maybe we'll do that one next. Policy yeah, envelope. I need three items. Okay, three items, keep, ladies. Three items or four? I'll just keep it three. <laughs> um, it more okay. said in honor of ABBA, I think we should do money, money, money. Money? Okay. <laughs> money related. Okay, there's uh, one. Margie, of all people, says lace. Lace, Margie, lace. Oh, right. Sandra. Sandra says luggage tag. God, you guys. Well, no, that was that's an element. We've already got our element. So. Oh, good, good. I don't <laughs> Tiny envelope is what Mar uh, Marianne said. That's okay. Okay, tiny envelope. Okay, so tiny envelope, lace, and money related. Laura said that Margie clearly means shoelace. <laughs> 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 Paper. <laughs> I like that star paper, Glenna. That's funny because I'm using it up because I don't like it. Yeah, this is Laura. This is going to be fun. See how this works out. Seven digital download candy. Yeah, it's um, it's port prints. The, her new dragonfly one. Who? My porch print. My porch, oh, my porch prints. Print. Yeah, the dragonfly one. I don't remember who announced it, but somebody I was looking at Google downloads and somebody sent out something and said, please don't pin to Pinterest. What? Please their downloads. Somebody people have been pinning their downloads to Pinterest. Oh. I didn't understand, but they said that they had to go in and take them all out. Huh. Oh, Diane says she wants us to talk. <laughs> well, we can talk or we can crack. I can do those silly, silly videos, ASMR videos. Um, okay. Uh, be very quiet. I'm hunting quattos. Margie says be very quiet. 
Yeah. Um, that's because Marianne's usually the talker. Um, Laura said they're posting the direct downloads so that then they don't get paid. Oh, I see what I would never know how to even do that. <laughs> What's wrong with people? They just don't think. I mean, Okay, so um, what is people's preference on glue? Art glitter glue or barely? What's art. That barely, barely art. Barely art. I like them both. I like them both. How about or, neither? <laughs> you don't use either one? No, I love my Adines. I have trouble squeezing that out. I just don't. Well, I have it in my little sugar. I, I still had trouble with it. I was like, oh, this ain't worth it. <laughs> So I just got barely art in the mail. Um, a friend of mine took a class, and so I, um, the lady used this one, the barely art. So I ordered it directly from her and got it. I don't know what day I got it because I only go to my mailbox a couple. Um, What was that? craft lunch Yeah. Um, Laura says she likes barely art glue because she doesn't have to worry about shipping. But yeah, it's, you don't. What do you mean shipping? Oh, because well, you don't have to worry about in, weather. In the winter. Yeah, okay. Because, like, we have these good old Canadian winters here. Oh, that's Eric, ladies. So hold on. Okay. Margie says she uses whatever comes out of the bottle. If one is clogged, she grabs another one. <laughs> I just, you know, I just got the barely art today. It just, or I, well, I went to the um, mailbox today and got this, and there was, I don't see. Oh, I got the, the bot, the big bottle, the bear, and this, and tips came with all these tips. And oh, it's then, nice to have all the tips. Yeah. Um. Yeah, the box was kind of nice. I think this came with it too. So, so I, I'm going to try this one too. I usually use art glitter glue. That's kind of my thing. And here's the other thing: I watch, I watch you ladies, and you glue everything. I don't. When I'm making my albums and stuff, I use tape, 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 tape. Um, and I know Marianne swears she can get um, her glue up with undo, but I can't. It, I always rip the pages. So um, when I'm doing the books, I. I try my best to get my pages so that they're straight and not lopsided because I'm putting a border around them. And so I tape mine so that um, uh, when I did my, um, when I did my Provence box, I went through a whole bottle of <laughs> undo. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> there was lots of oopsies on there. <laughs> Yeah, it's a nice kit, Margie. She said she bought this one last year. Um, um, so, Laura, um, she said she's been having um, more issues with the double-sided tape coming up than with glue. Um, I did, I bought some cheap tape. It's really cheap. And um, if I use my... Um, if I use um, tape, I can get it up with undo. But if I use the my tape gun and the really cheap tape I bought, it turns it mucky, kind of. Um, yeah, you're supposed to burnish. I watch um, Shelly Geigel, and she burnishes her tape like there's no tomorrow. And then sometimes I do now put a little bit of glue in, especially if I'm putting like a big piece of paper on my um, on. I will put the tape on the back and just a little thin line of glue, and then it gives me a second to kind of um, move it, maneuver it. Yeah, the Sukwang is good tape. Um, 
and it's a really good price right now for on um, score tape. It's a really good price on um, Amazon. Wow. I don't know why I can't think of things tonight. So um, the I use mostly 3 8 inch tape for my albums because they almost all have a, um, the edge on it is a half inch uh, score line. And so I use my 3 8 inch tape. And I think you can get 15 rolls for, it's under $60. I know it's chemo brain, Margie, chemo brain. Um, so um, that's a really good price for score tape for the three inch. 15 rolls for $57, I think, on Amazon right now. In fact, didn't we put it on the list, Candy, the Amazon list? Oh, she's talking to Eric. Sorry, I forgot. Um, yeah, Sandra Lou said $57. Uh, score tape and double-sided tape. Score tape, okay, Toby, um, score tape is a double-sided tape. And way back when they had that red tape, um, and I didn't use that, but when I started making albums and folios, um, um, I was introduced to the world of score tape. So this is what the score tape looks like. Here's, um, here's my tape gun. And... I bought this tape. It was really, really, really cheap. Um, and so um, it acts like it. So when I am making an album, I use my score tape because it's a little bit stronger. And then when I put down pattern paper, I use this one-sided tape. And the score tape really, really um, is a strong tape for putting your albums together. We, we talked one day about paper, about paperweight. So when I make the base of my albums, I use a stronger paper. How's Eric Candy? Is he okay? He's crazy. He's been crazy. Okay, that's good. <laughs> He's good. He's good. Um, and then uh, um, for putting down my pattern paper, I use a lighter weight tape like the, this on the roll. So, and I use a tape gun, but some people use like the little tape runners or, um, or a lot of people glue. I, I, I just can't do it. I, I just can't. I tried to glue something and then of course I had to lift it and it tore the paper and it tore the piece that I put on top of it. And, and I made said a word that was not appropriate. You know? <laughs> no. No, so. I know. <laughs> I'm trying to be a good girl. So anyway, my favorite tape to use adhesive is score tape. So, um, <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry. <coughs> so it's, um, I think it's everybody's preference. It, it's whatever you want to use for whatever project. Of course, they're nowhere. Oh, sweet Debbie. <laughs> yeah, right. <Near> each other. <coughs> Tough. So what does that say? I try to behave, Margie. Every once in a while, I just kind of like. Um. Yeah. Score tape. Um. Toby. C. S. P. O. R. You use duct tape. You know what? Duct tape's good for um, if you're doing an album when you put the front cover to the um, when you're putting your covers together to um, your backing. Um, you want to put a piece of tape down or a piece of um, Tyvek. And so then it strengthens your book. Oh, I goofed. <laughs> I didn't mean to glue it yet. <laughs> Marianne said she uses AGG, Nearly Art, Score Tape, Stamp Period Glue. Love them all. 
Yep. That's no, them all. Oh, she wants T R E A T S. <laughs> I can't say it because somebody's close by and he'll, <laughs> he'll do that. <laughs> And then he'll dig his claws in. Right, the Tyvex nice, isn't it? It, it um, strengthens them. Ginger, do you buy um, um, Tyvek envelopes? Toby, I'm telling you, if you're if you're starting out journals, um, Shelly Geigel's journals are pretty awesome. Um, she gives you um, a list. You can go in and look at the list of the supplies. And she tells you what to cut beforehand. And then you watch everything on YouTube. She does all the instructions on YouTube. She, she does all these little hand things. She'll go, okay, we're going to use this piece of paper out of your pack. This is what it looks on the back side. You're going to turn this piece of paper this way. We're going to cut from this side to this side and down. I mean, she, she is so exact. And, and she will take you through those like there's no tomorrow. Um, Tyvek is, can be a little pricey. I buy envelopes and, um, tear them apart, but I usually don't need, you know, one envelope usually will get me like three albums. So fabric does work. Domestic Wild. My best discovery is foam and poster board beacon adhesive at the dollar store, Dollar Tree. I use it for anything. Okay, just a second. Let me write that down. Foam and poster. Laura, for money. Don't know what to do. Do you have any coins? Ooh, I wonder where. Domestic Wild, thank you. Who's Domestic Wild? What's your first name? I'm sorry. Oops. Margie says just word. Kelly, thank you. Domestic Wild is Kelly. Marianne. <laughs> Okay, another piece of paper I'm gonna I'm gonna have to look for. <laughs> uh, thank you, Kelly. Checks, receipts, maybe a postage stamp with money on it. Hi, Sheila. Somebody said Sheila came in and I don't see where she came in. Usually my usually my barely arch does not clog up. I don't have a problem with it. Lately I've been having a problem with it. I don't know what the I'll have to look, look at her um Toby. Look at hers. Are they folios or um Toby, Marianne wants me to ask you if you're getting into junk journals or if you're getting into albums like, like what I do.
Kobe said, junk, junk, junk. Yeehaw. Okay, mine is done except for the string. Cute. Look at that. So I've got my little mini envelopes. I've got my policy closure. I've got my lace. And under there, I've got some tickets for a dollar. <coughs> nice, Glennis. <coughs> oh, excuse me, sorry. Thanks to an Eric Pony. <laughs> Um, Marianne said it's so much easier to film a tutorial than to do it live. You can pause a tutorial on the live. Everyone isn't always paying attention to something. I don't think it's, I, I think a lot of it is like, if you're doing a live and teaching, everybody's at different, at different levels. And then, and then, I mean, it's as simple sometimes as left-handed, right-handed. And, um, that's why I like Shelly's because she's so like, this is what it looks like. We're going to turn it this way. We're going to cut this way, go over this many inches. So um, so the one I'm working on now, I'm designing my own. So I'm kind of excited about that. Well, I can, un I can understand because when I'm doing anything on the computer, I have to tell people, tell me keystroke by keystroke, one at a time. That's the only way I'll get it. Uh-huh. Nothing more complicated than that. This needs a word. <laughs> Margie says you get the smarty pants making comments and distractions, people. He he me. <laughs> well, I can't read and craft, so she's not distracting me. I know that's why I don't craft when I'm when I'm reading all the comments. I, I can't do it either. I can't. Um, I'm too busy measuring things. I'm not very good at junk journals. That's why I, I joined this group is to um, learn techniques and um, um, learn how to do it. Um, Toby said Natasha just made a three signature journal made out of a cereal box. It went together so easily for her. I haven't tried it yet. All right. I'll have to look. Is it just Natasha? Or is it just, is it on YouTube? I'm assuming. Don't assume I know. Um, let's see. Yeah. All right, he's done. I have nah. a helper who has arrived. Kitty, 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 kitty. Oh, is that the cat? Yes, yeah, one of them. That's our. our I see a paw, I think. Yep, that's our. our she's a, a red. She's a red cat, and I call her Moose because she's huge. We all get. They all get fed the same thing, but this cat is so big. <laughs> You're going to give her a complex. Um, Ginger, it's Shelly Geigel. Um, just a second. Let me write it on something for you. Um, she's here in Washington. And she used to have a store. And they closed down the store as far as uh, brick and mortar. Um, and But you can order things from her. Candy, yours probably has string, though. Yeah, mine has string. I put string on it. Yeah, I didn't do that part. But I've got the string holder things, even though they're they're meant to be at an angle like that. That's the new the new way of doing art, where they're at an angle like that. Oh, okay. Now my, <laughs> let's see. Whoever you want to put them on there. That's how I feel. I got money in my envelope. <laughs> Here you go, Ginger. Hatchie Kim, she's a Cornish Rex which are supposed to be nice and slender and delicate. And she's the biggest cat in the house and she is large. She's only four years old. I've never heard of a Cornish Rex. I'm gonna have to look that up. Yeah, they've been around, oh, about 40, 50 years now, but they're, 
They have wavy fur. That's why they're called Rex. Wow. Well, she's got a beautiful coat. And the rest of her is, yeah. Okay, man, you're four Cornish. In the 80s, Kim, I used to show and breed Cornish in, in, uh, in cat shows. So I, I love them. Most welcome, Ginger. Most welcome, Toby. Lucy, I struggle with the junk journals just because I'm kind of a straight line person. So that's why the journals and the folios work for me. You know, those little straight lines. And that's why I go through a whole bottle of undo because I have to lift the paper and put it so that it's straight and and just kind of. But I mean, look at what what um, Glennis and Candy do. Their journals are just like amazing. They're just so beautiful. Um I, you know, like when I grow up, maybe I can do something like that, kind of. <laughs> oh, you can do it. Yours are, yours take a lot more time. <laughs> yeah, I could, I cannot do straight lines and accurate like you No, did. no, I couldn't. All right. Are we ready for the next one? Okay. What's next, ladies? Um, so I have a cat that without stretching, when standing on hind legs, chin rested easily on the kitchen cabinets. Um, she told her students he was a baby lion. <laughs> they believed her from the pictures. <laughs> Massimo's kind of long when he stretches out, but I'm kind of short. So he's almost, when he stretches, he's, or puts his paws up, he's, um, almost to my waist. So about three feet long maybe when he stretches but i was told he's not that oh well, you can't give us anything more i've lost my pen to write down what we're doing uh-oh <laughs> Lauren says one of her cats looks like a norwegian forest cat cat which yeah, is fluffy cool. butt fluffy butt, but um Yeah, Mossy was a rescue kitty. I got him from the pound. In fact, it came from a litter out here, and somebody abandoned the mom and the whole litter. So he um, he's the love of my life. He's the best okay. cat I've ever had. Okay, so we're ready to do a new one. Should we go to flip out? Um, yeah, we can do flip out. Kathleen Maurer. Okay, just a second. I'm going to write it down. No, I don't believe I have. Thanks, Laura. I'll look her up. I couldn't be precise if my life depended on it. <laughs> Shelly Geigel has these rulers. This is kind of funny, kind of funny. So oh. I've ordered like five or six of them from her. Um, oh, you can't see it very well on here. Not on that either. Here. That one that just crossed over, that was cat number two. She's our old lady who's 18. Oh, Margie said the last 14 were rescued feline leukemia cats. Yep. That's her name. Feline so, feline family. Um, Shelly Geigel has a ruler that actually has written on it um, sixteenths of an inch. So there's not too many. There's a lady that I follow that's in... Um, Norway or Sweden um, and I buy some of her instructions sometimes and she goes down to the 16th <laughs> so so um <clears throat> yeah I have to do those lines okay ladies we're ready for something new
So we need an element. Mine are, mine are subtitled, how to use up a 12 by 12 sheet in one easy night. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> You had an autistic cat. How does that work? Like, yeah. As cats already have a mind of your their own. I'm not sure how you would know. Laura said something with music. You want to just do the folio? From the last time, the flip out, flip out. It was a flip out, right? Yeah, from Marianne. That was her suggestion. Flip out, okay. Margie said she's autistic, high functioning. How can you tell if a cat is autistic? I need two other elements, ladies. Okay, so um, how about a tag? I'm going to give you a tag. No, we did flip out. We're doing flip out. Oh, you're doing the flip out? Sorry. Yeah, that's what, yeah. That's what <clears throat> the last time. So we'll just do that one. There's two people that I follow button. on. Instagram. Okay, Margie said button. Okay, button. I should have plugged in my hot glue gun. And tissue paper. And tissue paper. Okay. Okay, button, button. Tissue paper. And what was the third thing? Buttons or just one button? <laughs> Music button and tissue paper. Music. Music related. Okay. So one of the people that I follow on Instagram, uh, her name is Jordan, and she was off the street. And so her mom started a t-shirt business so she could teach her um, skills. So um, I just ordered one of her t-shirts and got it the other day. And um, I'm learning more and more. Margie says as many buttons as you want. <laughs> Flip out with music button, tissue paper, go, said Laura. <laughs> yeah, I'm just backing the other side of my flip out so I can write on it. Sheila said every day was unique with him. He was prone to staring, <laughs> to staring, stone still sitting for three hours. He also had meltdowns frequently, loved him to death, but there was destruction too. Oh, dear. Oh. Speaking of that, the little devil. Crooked. Yeah. Laura said she had bit bad meltdowns as a kid and got kicked out of school because of them. Not our Laura. She got kicked out of the house almost. <gasps> no <laughs> way. Oh, God, yes. <laughs> oh, I tell you tales about Laura. But as she says, not only can she approve, she is the most wonderful daughter now in the world. We love Laura. Now, but you didn't know her when she was three and four and five. My <laughs> God. When she was a troubled child. I had a t-shirt on her saying kid for rent cheap, but no one ever took me up on it. <laughs> um. Sheila said that's why he was placed in a rescue. Nobody wanted him. Laura needed um, Sheila as a teacher. She would have thrived at school. Button. Mary Hand said she about got kicked out of the house at five. <laughs> <laughs> question mark, question mark, question mark. <laughs> She said when she was in a high chair, mom had to put newspaper all around, including the ceiling. <laughs> of my three kids, she's the only one who got stuff 
food on the ceiling. <laughs> By the time I find my buttons, candy will be finished. I know I have them somewhere. Let's see if I got music button tissue paper. Okay. Sheila said, um, Glenna, she understands her ADHD daughter about kill them. Um, sadly, I no longer have a good throwing arm. No baseball for me, said Laura. <laughs> uh, Margie said, Glennis, make paper ones, paper buttons. Well, I found my buttons and I've got my hot glue gun plugged in. Oh, okay. yeah. Woohoo! I'm using napkins for tissue paper. Nice. And somehow it's all going to come together. As my husband likes to put on his door in the office, this is where a miracle happens. Laura said, button, button. Mom's got the button. Yeah, I've got, I've got a few buttons. My button pile is, I don't know if it's showing. Yeah. Right. I don't use buttons often either, Laura, but if I see a jar of buttons in the thrift store, it's it's mine. Oh, I love using them a lot. I just have to remember to plug in my hot gun. It's the only way I, I use them. Well, that's yeah, yeah. Up. What's that hole in the top for of that cutter? To hang it. Oh, okay. Hmm. Hang on. I think I would know how to do that. <laughs> what that was <laughs> we were hoping for something more technical <laughs> right something oh new tool new tool <laughs> <laughs> has been a little bit quiet lately it's about time for something to come out with him Shh. don't say that right I can't afford yeah, it. I, but I love watching his Saturday things when he has them. I know he has a lot of good tips and stuff. I should, I should, um, I should watch them more. It's like Marianne's Mondays. So, <laughs> um, cause he has a lot of good information. Sometimes I get tired of he kind of goes on and on and on. <laughs> And on and on and on. That's why I watch them on the replay. <laughs> yeah, I do and them on the replay time, too. Right? <laughs> yeah, you can do double time. Yeah. 
Laura said she's a perfectionist about everything. Not sure if it's entirely ADHD, but there's a lot of stuff that I didn't realize were related. It was great when she was younger because she'd put all the library books in order. She'd put all the CDs in order. Alphabetized everything. Oh, that's my husband with the CDs alphabetized. <laughs> she won't do it for me now, but boy. <laughs> Um, Laura said your daughter might like the ADHD alien comics. They're good to see the frustrations. Um, that she doesn't have the energy anymore. Blame it on the chronic fatigue. Well, she does have chronic fatigue, so it makes sense. Laura, would those comics work for autistic children, too? Thinking of your niece. Um, Laura said, Mom, I think Peter has them. Oh, okay. That's the uh, my artistic, autistic granddaughter's dad. So, um, Laura said she spent all week organizing her papers slightly obsessively. <laughs> <laughs> Though for ADHD, you call it hyperfixation. Yeah, we're not supposed to call my granddaughter autistic anymore, but it's hard to remember that. Why? I don't know. There's another new name they have. Performance challenge or something. I don't know. What the heck? I can't remember the new one, so. Huh. Why, I wonder, are so many children autistic now? When I was growing up, it wasn't anything that was ever seen. I think part of it is, for one thing, they're catching it more. But there's got to be more to it than that. Is it what we eat? Is it environmental? Is it... Laura said, Mom, I think Peter has seen them. Laura said, the diagnostic criteria changed. We used to think girls could not be autistic, but now they will diagnose them. Sheila said, Glenna's autistic is fine. That's from a professional. I get upset over all the new crap that is being spewed. Uh, thank you. That's good to hear. She's only in grade one, but she's in a special school. And she's doing quite well. Um, Kim says, I think it's always been around as Asperger's which is on the spectrum, has been diagnosed since WW. 
two. Andy, is that coffee dyed paper? Yeah. Pretty. Did you do that? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Karen said, I, I might have. Oh. You know, I like <laughs> ones that are really pretty. Um, Karen says, interesting how the names change over the years. The word retardation is now special needs. The word autistic is referred to something different now. My eldest son is high functioning. Uh, Laura said, it's not because it's a new, oops, where did it go? It's not because it's a new term. It's a slightly different. She has a development, developmental coordination disorder, DCD, which is primarily about muscle messages to the brain. Um, Sheila said, autism is from the same part of the brain that ADHD, bipolar, and depression, et cetera, is focused in. Most individuals diagnosed autistic have family members with some of the above diagnosis. Um, Laura said, but it can occur with and be similar to ADHD and autism with verbal and sensory issues. No, I On the floor. Sure. Like I said, there's two kids that I follow on um, Instagram that are autistic. One is the girl, and she's 20, and verbally she struggles a little bit, but physically she's very functioning. And then the boy that I follow is... Um, very high functioning, like like a man. Um, all these things that he knows and remembers, and um, it's it's teaching me. So I'm aware. I guess that's why I follow them. So I'm aware and and know. Laura said mental health is very complex. No kidding. Oh, we need tissue paper. Duh. <laughs> Kim says, all the darn labels they put on individuals. I just say I worked with people with varying abilities. Karen said she did not find out her son had autism until he was 16. Um, I like neurodivergent. That's what I use for myself. Laura said that. Oh, I never knew that. Um, Glennis, some positives. My grand was nonverbal, non commutative. She is now nine, talks, and is at the top of her classes in school as long as she is using a computer for instruction. Uh -huh. and you know, we're very fortunate that Sam is very high functioning. Anybody see where my vellum went? <laughs> <laughs> it's behind the whatchamacallit. Oh, there it goes. I was like, where'd my vellum go? Um, Sheila said she will always need a caregiver, but has improved greatly. That's awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, um, great. Laura said, yeah, sometimes just a bit of help and the right tools let them get past their barriers. There's just little things you can tell that she walks to her own beat. Things like if you hand her an apple, she'll nonchalantly eat the stem and the core and the seeds and the whole bit without thinking twice about it. It's just, that's normal to her. How old is she, Glennis? She's in grade one. So she's seven.
Karen said, my son is super intellectual, but his school, social skills um, were lacking. Being a new mom, I didn't question or even think autism could have been a possibility for him. He now lives on his own. He's 25. That is amazing. Oh, that's great. Um, Sheila said, my son will be a junior in college and does wonderful. Never thought he would even um, thought high functioning, thought he was high functioning, to be honest. That's just awesome. Laura said, mom's going back to Birdland. I'm not sure what she means by that. Are you using a bird? Well, on my on my tissue, I've got a hummingbird, but <laughs> oh, so do I. <laughs> oh, she said, oh wait, that's candy. Never mind. <laughs> I've got a hummingbird right on mine. Okay. Laura says she sees hummingbirds and um, thinks about her mom. Well, yeah, she sends me all the hummingbirds and the penguins and flamingos and owls. And... There we go. Mine's done. Yep, so is mine. Just gluing down my... It's a fold-out journal card. Flip-out journal card. Awesome. Oh, that's cool. Very cool. Mine, mine just flip up. So it flips up. I've got cheesecloth. I've got my tissue. I've got the buttons. I've got my music. Nice. Music. Very nice. Button, music, and tissue. Yep. Okay. I got them all. I was like, did I get them all? all right. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> yeah, got a hummingbird on there. I don't know how to hold it up, but. On my tissue, there's a little hummingbird. Pretty. Oh, I see it. Oh, I'm going to have to put all this stuff away later. Laura. <laughs> Laura said, and I've sent her so many gulls and things that turn out to not be gulls that I'm not allowed to send anymore. <laughs> Anything that is flying over water that had white wings, a turn, an albatross, it didn't matter, she would send me. <laughs> Uh, or, you know, doesn't matter. Had white wings and was flying. <laughs> awesome, ladies. Awesome, awesome. Okay, we're down to half an hour left. Thank okay. God. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get one more in? We yeah. should be able to get one more if it's not too tough. Okay, what about um, um, what about a tag? Okay. okay. Laura said, at least she didn't send you pelicans. <laughs> oh, I like pelicans. You can send them to me. <laughs> oh, I, I just did my three pelican journals. I'm, I'm ready for more. Or not pelicans. No, I don't like pelicans. Yeah, send all the pelicans to Candy. Especially if they're brown pelicans. That's the really? state bird here. That's the state yeah. bird here. Oh, boy. I think they're ugly compared to the white. I like the white better. But Okay. Oh. Um, I just said a butterfly. 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 Okay. Okay. Something with wings. That would be something with wings. Okay. Butterfly. We need two more, ladies. Anybody? Anybody? Laura said she'd keep an out for out. For, Marianne said lace. We already had lace. You already had lace already. A uh, flower. Laura doily. said a doily. A doily and a flower and a butterfly. All right. On a tag. Doily. Flower. And a butterfly. On a tag. Woo woo. Okay. And we have a half hour left. Laura said everyone should have doilies from the mask make last week. <laughs> I 
Who who was it that's missing their um is it Sheeta who can't find her doilies? Sylvia. Sylvia. Yeah. <laughs> Um, she's a yes on happy paper people. Candy, where did you put the list? On um, happy paper people with Marianne. It's on the top. It's in the file section, but it's featured at the top on featured pins. It should be the first one up there. Okay. For the list. Just a second. Let me for the list. One, nine, two. Yeah. Basically, the list though is just anything you can think of that you would decorate with. not anything but we kind of pared it down a little bit where it's more common stuff but yeah yeah but just that's a quick so people don't get hung up on that yeah okay, so here's the happy paper people and then right here is candy's list right just a second sorry if i'm making you sick here So it's one of the features at the top. <laughs> oh, poor Marianne. <laughs> she goes, at the top of the page where there's pin posts, it's there. <laughs> no, the Laura, the list is so that you guys don't ask us for outrageous things. <laughs> oh, kitty, 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 kitty. Yeah, that's my big moose. Kitty. Marianne said, hey, I didn't use that tone. <laughs> oh, yes, you did. I grab her tone. It's the wild red Canadian moose cat. That was a big cat. Yeah. Oh, she's 15 pounds. And Cornish are very delicate and refined normally. Uh-huh. Oh, you'd never know. That one is amazing. And like I said, they all three are fed the same. She's the only one that's overweight. Marianne says, I have Matt. I have snaps, Margie. And then Margie said, we all heard that tone, Marianne. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We all heard it. We, we did. all heard it. Wow. Sheila said Jack was 37 pounds when she rescued him. Oh my gosh, that's that wow. is huge. It's really big. I thought Massimo was kind of hunky chunky and he's about 15, 16 pounds. I would not be able to lift that up because I can barely lift up the buzz. Yeah. I grunt and groan when I lift up this cat. <clears throat> But I, I kind of play with him a lot so that he doesn't get too chunky monkey. Well, Fuzz plays by herself. She grabs my tapes and my ribbons and tears off downstairs with them. <laughs> our babies, our fur babies are just so fun to watch and just, just. Yeah, that is a big cat. 37 pounds. Yeah. Man. Wow. That is serious chunky monkey. Lucy said her granddaughter was 37 pounds when she was four or five. So that's a big cat. Really big. <clears throat> oh, 
She said she was able to get him down to about 21, 22 pounds. But no, no, we're live. Um, we're live. Hi, Memories. Hi, Tom. Oops. Just a minute. Let me show everyone what she's sending away. Oh, he's made me pierogies and sausage and sour cream, but I cannot eat it right now. Ooh, yum. You can eat it. You can eat it. I'll beat you. <laughs> <laughs> Not unless Eric phones again. <laughs> well, I've got the lace and the flowers. The doily is nowhere in sight. It's trying to find where I put stuff because I've been I'm, I'm rearranging my room. And that's my excuse, and I'm sticking with it. Okay. Kelly, my cat's about 15, 16 pounds. I thought he was big, but now, yeah, not so much after that, huh? Yeah. Uh-oh, Margie got kicked out and she said all the other pages she had up are now just white. Sheila said I'd say heck with the tag and just eat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? <clears throat> Marion said she got kicked out for giving her tood. Margie said she was trying to type that she would never ask for snaps again and then poof. <laughs> Laura said dude is Margie's middle name. <laughs> Pretty candy. Oh, goodness. Look at those. How pretty. But I have to find the doily to put behind the flowers. It's green uh, at the top. I can't see that's it. That's my lace. Oh, late. Okay. We don't have lace on this one. Oh, that's right. We don't. <laughs> well, I had extra lace. <laughs> you can put lace on it. We don't. <laughs> I forgot that we didn't have lace. I didn't write it down either, but my brain said, oh, we need lace. I've got green lace. I look. Oh, well. <laughs> Just for you, Marianne. <laughs> Cover all oh, bases, gosh. right? Uh, doily. Oh, I have a doily. Lace instead of a doily? I go find one. What are those pencils? These are those uh, aqua, aqua, aquarella, aquarella, the water pencils. 
and they just kind of highlight. Yeah, I don't. Sabillo. Yeah, they're kind of like Sabillo. They're just water. Pens. I think I bought some, but I couldn't tell you where they are. I like them to make the bodies of the the. Nope, she says not Stabilo. Huh. Laura said next time. Um, they are, and there's Sabilla Aqua. Aqua. Sabilla Aqua. Aqua. Okay. Aquellable. <laughs> yeah. A Q U A R E L L A B L E. Aqua Rellable. Okay, whatever. <laughs> yep, <that. laughs> Laura said next time she's going to suggest a touch of cat fuzz. What a list. Um, Sheila said, did anyone see the video from Betty where she used a regular candle and an iron to make fovellum? I don't do anything that requires an uh, iron, so I wouldn't have seen it. I don't keep candles around here. I'm afraid I'd leave them and leave them burning. Oh, I love candles. I mean, I have them in the window. I don't burn it. I don't burn in the craft room, though, because I'll leave it on. But I love wax seals. Oh, I have yeah. To, I, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. A friend of mine told me how she made foam, and I think it had to do with baby oil. Oh, that actually sounds interesting. Yeah, I bought a bottle of baby oil. It's sitting down here, and the other day I couldn't figure out why I would have baby oil. <laughs> then I remembered that as far as doing anything. Sounds like a Monday jump start to me. Yeah. Um, Laura said she now has a mini iron, but no plans to make stuff. <laughs> it's just for my fabric covers. I use a hair yeah, straight. Yeah, I'm glad you were here. Margie laughed and she said Laura's her soul sister. <laughs> I think so. Those two are so alike. I know they cracked me up. Um, Laura said she made um, faux leather with a paper bag and hand lotion. Um, yeah, it looked. It turned out terrific. It really looked cool. Um, Sheila said this was an alternative to oil since it can leave a residue. Oil and can. Vita Cam. Oh, get fun! <laughs> I know craziness here. We don't talk as much as Mary Ann. That's what I've learned. <laughs> Mary Ann is still her. Lucy said she rubs a tea light candle on paper and either sit it in the oven with the pilot light on or iron it. I love the way it looks and I personally like it better than baby oil. I haven't tried the baby oil yet. So... It seemed like a mess, i.e. I don't do gel plates. <laughs> <laughs> it's that mess thing. So that's why I haven't done anything with the baby oil yet, I think. Just sit there. It's kind of like those snaps. I have it in case of. Gel plating isn't that messy. I don't find it that messy. Um... Kelly said that hand lotion works great on paper bags and smells great too. Sheila said she's a DIY queen. Everything cheap, free, or quick. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> right, Margie. She agreed with me about the gel plates. Um, Laura said, Sheila, I wet the paper, crumbled it, then let it dry a bit to get the texture, then just rub lotion on it um, a couple of times, and the lotion makes it flexible. You can do, you can do hand sanitizer. Lucy said it's messy when she uses it when she gel plates. That's what I always see is like a big hot mess, and so it's yeah, like, I can't I can't do messy on the bed. Yeah, so so I have to do it non messy. Laura says gel plates you need space to lay out. 
stuff yeah. for 800 acrylic paints I would inevitably buy. Yeah, yeah. Marianne did it the other day. She she said she needed two cameras for all her gel plates she had out. So, yeah, no, I'm not going to do that. But that's okay. Yay to the gel platers. I'll watch. I would um, love to have more gel plates. I only have two. Hint, hint, Laura. Uh, Laura said not hand sanitizer. She meant to say conditioner. Um, Sheila said she'd try it. I get it, Laura. I must have 100 bottles of acrylic paints, and then I have the audacity to buy the new acrylic paints from Stamperia. <laughs> There's some coming in this box <laughs> on its way. Like, really? Now I need to find places for that. Never mind all of the acrylic paints I already have. But you didn't have that one. Margie said, no, I didn't. Margie said, yep, I will watch the gel platers and make snarky comments. <laughs> and that's different from any other night. How? <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah. Laura said, Mom, I felt a whoosh like a subtle message went past my head. <laughs> there was no subtlety about that one. <laughs> well, she buys me all the great stuff as it is, so... Okay, those are basically done. I just have to add some words. No, you did two? Well, yeah, wow. I don't like doing one. <laughs> That's including the lace because I put lace on. I got my doilies there and what's the other doing? Oh, doyer and there and there. Flowers, the butterflies are on the tag. And lace. And you have lace. lace. <laughs> um, Glennis, Marianne wants to know what size um, gel plates you have now. I have an eight and a half by 12 and the five by seven. Like how many sizes are there? Oh, there's a 12 by 12. Like eight and a half. I would like another eight, uh, eight and a half by 12. I think that's a great size. Um, Sheila said, I gel plate in a small area, stack prints with plastic folders between to dry. Never had a problem. No room in this house. Yeah, I use cookie sh drying sheets, the cookie, you know, the cookie drying racks that I have. Uh -huh. I use those, stack them up, pop paper on there. Nice candy. Look at all those. I, I find they, they dry so fast. that Yeah, so I'd use like three, three, I have three cookie sheets cookie racks that stack um, so you put them on one two three then by the time you get three done you, you can put on one start uh -huh. over again yeah um marianne yeah. asked if it was an eight and a half by 11 not an eight and a half by 12. i probably i was just talking <laughs> off the top of my head it's probably eight by ten most of them are eight by ten it could be yeah because it's, it's just <laughs> short of a piece of paper that's because i'm it's like twice it takes an eight it's twice as big as my five by seven though i think yeah, I can put a full eight and a half by eleven on it. Do, but do you have maybe not? Does it, do, does it do the whole edges? Does it do edge to edge on your paper? Almost. Yeah, then it's not eight and a half by eleven, but because eight mine mine's an eight by ten. It doesn't do that. That just that around it, just the edge around it. Does it close? There's a yeah, nine, close, by, but it's not, it's not. nine by twelve. Somebody was googling, I guess. <laughs> yeah, they have a nine by twelve. I have a twelve by twelve. An eight by ten. There's an eight by ten. Yeah, I have the eight by ten. Yeah, I think another eight by ten. Then I'd be happy with. I won't. I'd be that. happy with yeah. anything more. Just I just nine by twelve is a new one, so you can it'll do the full piece of paper. That's the one I want. Lucy said the largest one she knows of is a sixteen by twenty, and Marianne said the nine by twelve is new. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're a really huge one. Oh, those are pretty, Glennis. Wow. Very pretty. Yeah, I figured I'd, I had butterfly on the paper, so that would take care of that. Here, let's, let me put you on you. You got all your projects. We'll show yours, all three of yours. Okay, Full there's screen. that. There you go. There's, let's see. Here's my, oh, that's my flip. Nice. That's my envelope. You're off camera. Bring it down just a little bit. Yeah, I'm just going to put them all out first, and then okay. I'll, I will. My triangle. Okay. 
Nine. Oh, that's my flip. Yep. That's my policy envelope with the money inside. Nice. My triangle and my side tuck. Very nice. And my two cards. Hey. Okay. Oh, those. Love, 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 love those. Okay, can we? Okay, so here's my policy envelope with my money tucked in the envelope, the tiny envelope. Some Monopoly money. Good uh, luck getting it out. That's a good idea. Good luck getting it out. I but I ain't taking it out and refolding it. <laughs> <laughs> my tag with the butterfly and the flower and the doily. Nice. My corner tuck and my flip out. Nice. Nice job, ladies. Yeah, pretty. the green triangle actually worked out quite nice to have doing that. Uh-huh. It's pretty. They're all pretty. Yeah. So come out really nice. I really like these. These are easy to make too. Yeah. All right, let's go back to everybody. I will at some point put string on mine, but yeah. Um, Sheila says she my, used a soft plastic placemat as a gel plate. Made um, her own very cheap one this way too. Works good. Just work layer by layer individually. Nice. Margie goes, Marianne, what's, where's yours? <laughs> Are you done yet, Marianne? What do you need to do? <laughs> giggle, giggle. <laughs> That could have been a lot worse than it was. Oh, Glennis and Kim always it's do easy, stuff. Honest, stuff. <laughs> Marianne said she just designed a digital journal kit. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. That puts us to shame. Toby. Um, yes, yeah, sometimes I'll use a washer. Yeah, Toby. Sometimes it, helps weight it. it also helps weight it. Right. Now, I have never ever used a washer. I don't even own it. Um, did you put you put the magnets on there too, right? Yeah, there's two different sizes on there. Okay, there's um, a magnet that I get from Amazon and you get 60 of them for 10 bucks. Yeah. There, um, uh, 12 by 1 millimeter and that I use for my books. Um, that folio that I made for the giveaway, it's got like 12 magnets in it. Well, for magnets, when Dollar Tree has their um, their their school stuff, you can get the big sheets of magnets for a dollar. Oh, really? I buy a bunch of those and cut them up. Oh, but they're only available when the school supplies are up. Okay. Oh. Because they're for the the lockers. So here's what I get off Amazon. You get sixty of them. So those look bigger than the ones I got off of there. Off the link. Um, there. Um, let's see. What can I compare? It sizes. To? Maybe I had the wrong size on the link. Um, there's two different sizes on the affiliate link page. Okay. Um, what can I compare it to? Well, here. Um, they're little. Yeah. Yeah, I have, I have like teeny tiny, and then like, oh. I have eight, ten, or the ones I have eight. Oh, moments, these moments. are twelve. Yeah. Well, I like I can cut mine any size I want. Yeah. Because sometimes it's nice to have a thin strip. Yeah, the magnets are stronger than the ones from the Dollar Tree that you buy on Amazon. They're pretty strong. Yeah. yeah. When you're doing thick folio, you need the stronger magnets. Right. And that's why sometimes um, Sheila says use the giveaway magnets from businesses. They're free, plus tons at yard sales and thrift stores, almost free. Yeah. Yeah. Toby, that is a good idea to use a, a magnet on one side and a washer on the other. Um, somewhere around here, I have a little package of washers. Well, I, I do too. Start doing that. Yeah. You can get them. You can get a big package for like a four yeah, bucks. Yeah, 50 of them for a, a dollar or two, yeah. Yeah. I hadn't thought about that. Thanks, Toby. I'll start doing that. Giveaway magnets, Toby, or the ones that businesses hand out, you know, let's say buy now on sale, you know, just the little freebies they give out. 
Dream Promotions. A lot of them have their business name on them. You know, yeah. refri like refrigerator magnets, those flat. Yeah. I've got a whole pile from the zoo that I really like. Business cards on magnets. Advertisements, yes, Toby. Okay, ladies, we're at four minutes to go. It's been a great Saturday night. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I have ladies. Ask your friend, invite your friends to join, ask them to join Facebook and YouTube, and you'll get your name put in the drawing for the photo folio or for the folio. Folio. -leo. Thank you, Sheila, for being here. Thank you, everybody, for your being here on your holiday weekend. You did great reading the comments, Debbie. Oh, oh yeah, thank you, Debbie. That really of helped not having to worry about that. But you know, ladies, the only reason she does it because she's chicken to do. Tell us what to do. Oh no, she's trying yes. to do yes. <laughs> be doing the next one. Her and Mary uh -uh. No, she always she always comes up with a reason why she can't do it. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yep, I know. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> They're kind Things of fun. Awesome. Thank you for inviting people. We want to get Marianne to a thousand subscribers on um on her YouTube. And um they'll 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 come in, Sheila. You know, we have fun here. This is these are good, good people here. Um and, well, except for Margie. <laughs> and that Laura girl, what is with her? You no, can't don't trust her at you, all. You, you stand your ground. Yep, you're not going to get me to do this Saturday night thing. You know, uh. <laughs> <laughs> there's not enough straight lines. I'll panic. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! That yeah, was fun. I can fussy cut. Okay, ladies. Um, good seeing all of you. And we will see you on Monday for um, Monday Jump Start. Um, is Marianne doing the journal, starting the junk journal on Monday? Not till June. Not till June? Okay, I don't know what we're doing Monday. So like um, a week, a week Monday, she's going to start it, I think, on the 6th. Okay. And yeah. then um, the last Saturday of June, we will pull... We will draw a name for the folio, and I will send it to you. So I like called it the folio, folio, folio. <laughs> okay, good is... night, ladies. Love you all. Thanks for being here. Night, everybody. Good night. I good guess night. I, have... night. I, I, I guess it's me that has to end it. <laughs> well, well, I'm I'm gonna press my little red button right here. <laughs> that says leave studio. Yeah. All right, good night, ladies. Everybody have a good weekend. Bye. Bye.